Thank you for that. I'm very professional. Uh, so I was saying hello. This is Steam Roulette. Um, I put the. I, I have about 90 games that I. Um, you can hear me now, right? It's fixed, right? Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. Good. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Hi, Pongo. Uh, so this is Steam Roulette. Um, I put all of the games that I've never played in my Steam library on a list. I randomized the list. I downloaded the first 10 that came up, and I made this wheel out of them. So now we are going to find out what I'm going to play today, and if I'm not having fun, I will switch games. Wow, this spin lasts a long time. And it's Post Void! I don't know what that means, um, but we'll, we'll find out together. Uh, okay. First time setup. Y'all ready to have some finny fun? <laughs> Alright, um, let's pop that up. Cool, wow, this is awful. Okay, got it. What? So this is just how the game starts, I guess. Uh, I hope this isn't going to be a horror game. Because I'm not good with those. You move so fast. I don't know what to expect from this at all. Oh. Oh, hold on. I'm just, I'm just trying to get chat. Okay, now I can see chat. Uh, hello everyone, I became a radioactive tree today. Go to the I did a thing text channel to see what happened. Will do. I saw that I uh, had an unread message there, but I didn't have time to check it out. You move so fast in this game. Hold shift to slide. Wow, okay. Is it just me or is the ceiling getting lower? What the fuck? Oh no, it's running out. Do I have to keep moving in order to not die? How does this work? Or am I just stuck at the bottom there? What is, what is this game? This is so gross and weird. That is some good clickbait right there. Kill enemies to regain liquid. Shoot with left mouse button. I will. Ah! Ah! Stop that. Oh. Gross! Okay, so this is gonna be a goopy, explodey game. Cool. Uh, well, you've been warned. Uh, this is a gross, goopy, explodey game. We're learning things together. Jump! Yay, jump! First there was the void. Didn't want to spoil the surprise, so I have to do some clickbait. Then there was a headache. And a flower of hope. That would give birth to a sanctuary. With his head in hand, he who bore the pain would try to reach the void again. So that's why it's called Post Void, because he's no longer in the void. A place where nothing moves, where darkness is lord and silence is preacher. A place of peace. Okay. There his head can pour freely into an, onto a new seed, which, okay. But alas, ceaseless violence and unapologetic noise would again be wallpapered to the corridors of past serenity. Okay, I get the feeling I'm not gonna like this game. Just as a personal taste thing. I just... The, like, hyper-violent, abstract surrealism isn't my vibe, really. Why does this game remind me of those old screensavers that had, like, a rat in a labyrinth? Uh, it's so gross. Well, here we go. Act 1. So loud, I'm gonna have to turn this down. 
Ow. Oh. Okay. What? Oh. So much. Holy shit. What? Okay, I died, apparently. Nice. Okay. <laughs> apparently, um... Uh, apparently, this game is more fast-paced than my brain moves. I don't understand. So, wait. Do, do I just... Hold on. I, I need to figure something out. Do I just lose health over time? I do. Okay. Okay, yeah. Nice. So this is an extremely fast-paced game, then. <laughs> Joke's on you, I am here. <laughs> Hi, Eleanor. I can't watch this? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll try one more time and then we quit. Okay, gotta move fast, gotta move fast. Literally don't have time to not move fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God, this is so hard to look at. Okay, that was post-void, everybody. We're done. That was not fun. Okay. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? Uh, let's get the browser back up. Uh, hide choice and uh, spin again. Oh, okay, it didn't like when I full screened it. <laughs> Hi, Logic. How you doing? Hi, pa 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 Pazer Di Sunset Overdrive. Okay, cool. Um, Sunset Overdrive is the one game that I actually do know something about. I know that my sister really likes this game uh, and that it's got like a lot of free running and it's developed by Insomniac who did Ratchet & Clank and the more recent Spider-Man game. Um, so it should be good, it should be good. Let's see, oh, oh, gotta get the window up. There we go. Okay, let me catch up with chat. Having dinner, so you all will be having dinner with me. It's late. It's a date. I, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, Anthony, apparently this game moves faster than my brain. What is happening? Uh, nothing anymore. We that, that wasn't fun. We, we stopped that. <laughs> I have transcended from trying to chip away at my own Steam library to watching Music Maestro do chip away at his. Uh, hi. Hi, everybody. Yeah, um, flashing image warning, apparently. I'll have to put that on the stream title. <laughs> One down, 99 to go. Sunset Overdrive, the mix of Ratchet and Clank and swishing along rooftops and somewhat good pop culture references. Okay. Good to know. Save files have been corrupted. Well, that seems unlikely since I have never played this. Is that... I can't tell if that's a bug or just how this game starts. Anyway. It's been so long, hasn't it been like a week tops? Body type. Um... I, sure. Seems good to me. Face. I'm not... I don't... I'm gonna... If I let myself agonize over this, we're going to do this for the whole stream. Um, sure. Ah, oh, so many. So many. I kind of like bed. <laughs> no, it's not a bug. That is intentional. Okay, cool. Double bonds! Oh my god, that's such an aggressive zoom. Double bonds! Oh, you spent the day together? 
character creations are indeed a blessing and a curse. Go genetic everything? I don't know what that means. Emo. <laughs> Some of these are pretty sick. I kind of like the idea of a grown man in pigtails. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to I'm not going to do it though. That's actually pretty hot. Page boy, my lord, squire. Yeah, let's do wave. I like wave. Apply. Hair color. That one. And uh that looks kind of awful. That's much better. What do you mean none? That's not none. He's got stubble. <laughs> How many buns can you handle? Apparently two is the maximum. So it's it's zero, one, or two. That, that's what we've got. Uh, how's everyone actually? I'm good. How are you guys? Been a couple uploads since, uh, since we last spoke. I had pigtails for a day. They were fun. For context, my hair has been shoulder length for six years. It would be funny if it wasn't, though. And you just, like had my length hair and tried to make pigtails out of it anyway. Do green highlights, please. Well, I can't say no to Marco. Oh, it looks so bad. It's just, it's so neon compared to the rest of what he's rocking, but now that's a little better. I like the muted tone. I am tired, but I don't really take naps for some reason. Sounds like a bad life. I definitely take naps. <laughs> Gold Rush. <laughs> My god. Uh, we'll just go with... Nah, trimmed. Why not? Facial hair color. Green, obviously. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Oh man, he just went from pretty attractive to utterly goofy. I'm gonna have to stick with that. Oh! Yeah, it was a surprise. I hadn't checked the Discord yet. You ruined it, Elena. Absolutely ru- Oh my god, what? So, so these are the only normal colors up here, and then we start getting wacky. Cool. <laughs> oh, this game is so weird already. Ew! Ugh! Ugh! He's just got brown eyes. Why's it gotta be weird? He's just got brown eyes. You can enable the vulgarity filter and the low gore option in the options menu. Nah, we're all adults here, probably. I actually have no way of knowing. Unread it, John? Okay, got it. The green beard just looks like moss growing on him. Oh, hi. Totally screwed. Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Oh, and now we're playing. Escape the train station. Oh, I forgot I have my controller. I'm gonna use my controller. Ah, dodge roll. Dodge rolled. Sorry, the, the motion blur is a little intense, isn't it? Uh, can I actually fight? No, it doesn't look like it. I just got my dodge roll. Dodge roll. Gotta keep, moving. Gotta keep moving. This game isn't meant to be serious considering that death isn't a thing and you... Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'll get back to you. Bounce. Gotta get home. This is such a cartoon. I love it. Oh, the camera sensitivity. Hold on. Is there. 
Options. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Options. Um, controller. No. Oh, look sensitivity. There we go. Ba 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 ba. Confirm changes. Excellent. That's a little better. Sorry about that helicopter. Hope you figure out your deal. Nope. Guess not. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. Got it. Oh my god. What just happened with the camera there? Okay, I'm gonna take a break really quick. I'm gonna take a break really- Jesus. This is getting like... Doom Eternal vibes to a degree. Grind along edges or wires. It's like if Doom was Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh shit. I meant to do that. Oh. I see what you mean with death not being a thing in Portal. <laughs> you are leaving the mission area and will fail if you do not return. How am I leaving? I'm going directly to the goal. Okay. I got lost and never made it home. One sec. Let me catch up with the chat. Uh, Doctor Who time booth back to life. Uh, <laughs> you broke my heart, bro. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. What? We uh, we also have Pad a buzz. We also gave Pad a buzz cut. Fun afternoon today. Sounds that way. You guys were busy. Swooshy woof tops. Elena has a beauty shop now. Damn, I can feel Ratchet and Clank's DNA in this just from watching it. Yeah, I agree. Just the the very oh shit, just the very bouncy platforming. Okay, that just happened. That just happened. Jeez. That's funny. I, that's such a good way to integrate that tutorial. That's funny. All done in Marco's bathroom. So Marco's bathroom is a beauty shop? This game is already infinitely better than the first one. Totally agree. Bam! Most of the games in my library that I haven't played are probably, like relatively small indie titles because i mean for obvious reasons wait while grinding flip between grind and undergrind okay cool got it um for obvious reasons i just i don't have a lot of games that are like big but that's a gun flaming gun <laughs> Seder. I'll remember you, guy I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, it's Goopy! It's another Goopy game. Oh, I'm I'm gonna have to get used to the controls. This is not a game that you just pick up <laughs> and play for the first time. You gotta get the flow. You're leaving the mission area again? Oh no. Good thing there's no fall damage, apparently. Oh, you want me to grind on that? Okay. Oh, kill mutants. I didn't see that. It's very big on the screen. I... <laughs> I, I do not do super well with uh, overstimulating games like this. It's just a lot for me to process at once. Hi, Pad. This guy again. Marco's Pizzeria and Beauty Shop. What a good combo of... Okay, stop. Defeat the Giant Mutant. Giant Mutant? I found him. Oh, no. I thought he was talking to me. I was like, that's fucking rude. 
Is this game something Sunset Overdrive? Yes, it is Sunset Overdrive. No something. Hey, Buzzcut Pad. Look at the balls on that one. Hey. Because it's balls. Thanks, old guy. It's funny to me how relatively s slow his run cycle is compared to the rest of the game. Bro can literally jump 20 feet like it's nothing, but then he runs like it's a light jog. <laughs> that was a very forgiving hitbox. Enter apartment. I did it! I'm home. The naming scheme. That which we call Ratchet and Clank by any other name would play so cartoonishly crazy. Yeah. He's gotta pace himself for all the super jumps. Run speed doesn't get any better. Better the game forces you to stay higher up and use everything in the environment. Yeah. That's the only thing I know about this. I, I, I think my sister described this game as, like, just being a series of excuses to not touch the ground. Yeah, that's a good point, Logic. It's clearly an emergency, but also clearly that was not an exit. He restores his energy while running. Damn, the apocalypse sure happened fast if this was just three hours ago. Yeah! Wait, it, is the whole apocalypse going to be caused by an energy drink? Because if so, I love that. Your sister is very correct, and I would have loved to play this game with her when the multiplayer servers were active. Oh no, are they down already? This game's not even that old. Same scenario in Nier <laughs> that took 300 years, yeah. Have you played this before, Pad? That is a good question. Have you played this before, Pad? Uns, 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 uns. Dead end job? Nah, I love taking out the trash for a corporate overlord. Nice job. Just casually playing Sunset Overdrive in Sunset Overdrive. Oh, that's a bad day. Red Bull gives you wings, Fizco does not. Parts of a walkthrough. Oh, 2014? I didn't realize it was that old. Schrodinger's what? We might not be what you want. Seventeen days later. Okay. I just got two achievements at once, and one of them was called Overachiever. Wait, customize again? Oh, now I can do the... No more uniform indeed. Um... Wait, why would I change his underwear? Oh, okay, it's like... Oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Pretty hard to say no to the Hawaiian shirt. I kind of love just the, the sweater and collared shirt while just free running. Um, keep it simple. Let's wear a t-shirt. Green meat. Everyday pesticides. We're gonna we're gonna rep everyday pesticides. And denim 
is always in fashion. Was it an Xbox exclusive for a while or something? I don't know. Body art. None. Okay, that's my favorite kind, apparently. Um, gotta have panties. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> There's no color options. You're you're just either wearing underwear or you're not. Um, let's see. I did say denim is always in style. I really love that like it does not matter what gender you pick, you still get all of the options for both clothes and everything else. Um, I think I'm going to stick with these. Yeah. I'm not much of a shoes guy, so I just won't wear any at all. Um, always been a fan of... Oh, look at those. Look at the Vans. I, I've always been a fan of Converse. Those are Converse-y. Kind of Converse-y. No body art. Outfits. Yeah, did that already. Did that already. Did that already. We already did that. We did that already. Wait, accessories. Bandit mask. Glasses. Masquerade mask. Shades. None of the above. Thank you. Okay. It is not still an Xbox exclusive because I have it on PC. Yeah, this is on Steam. That 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 this is this is the Steam Roulette stream. No, no game pass. <laughs> I found you. What are you playing? This is Sunset Overdrive. Uh, we're already on our second game. The first one was called Post Void, and everybody hated it immediately. So we're not playing that anymore. <laughs> Hi, Walter. Save your ass. You did. There's still a few survivors left in the city, but not for long. Take this. Cause we're gonna kill them. Watch it. Yeah. They followed us. What? Oh. Walter is gay. I love it. Even you hated it. Yeah, it was pretty not fun. Like it. It was trying to do something very specific, and I feel that it did it. I just hate what that is, uh, which is overstimulation and hyperviolence. This is also overstimulation and hyperviolence, but more manageable. <laughs> you guys destroy that like button if you haven't already. Smash that like button, man! Oh, now I see why I keep leaving the mission area. I, I don't know what that purple flag means, but it does not mean go here. Oh, hey, it's a dead person. At least here you won't have a seizure, probably. Probably. Hi, Kay. This is cartoonish violence made by a company who may or may not have had a large hand in our childhoods. Depending on our childhood. A, then B, to dive bomb. Pick up the gun. How do I do that? How do I do that? Some game dev really wanted the really played the heck out of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Seriously. Weapon selection. Oh my god, it really is Ratchet and Clank, isn't it? What kind of overstimulation and hyperviolence are you feeling today? Um, generally I don't feel the need for it at all. Overcharge drink. But I'm I'm willing to try new things. That's that's part of the point of Steam Roulette. I'm gonna throw some overcharge onto the court. Get ready for the real test. Every weapon has an experience bar. Amazing. This really is like an like a natural evolution of Ratchet and Clank. I still haven't played Rift Apart, by the way. I want to. 
just haven't gotten the chance. Get on the fence, kid. Okay. You want me to grind and shoot at the same time? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, actually. This even, like, reminds me of a specific... Wait, I, what, do I want those cans? It seems like that's something I probably shouldn't be putting in my body. Or is it ammo? I, I can't tell. Yeah, that's a good Come sign. On, yeah, but PS5? No. I do not. Hey, where's the cops? The National Guard? The news helicopters? Wait, the funny thing is, um, even though that is very iconically Ratchet and Clank, uh, it wasn't in the first game. There wasn't any sort of weapon improvement system in the first game. Cans are limit break gauge. Got it. Not on purpose, but they're doing a hell of a job covering it up. The rest of the world thinks we're all dead from some kind of. Guess I know what I'm gonna play until I get a PS5. <laughs> oh, okay, Walter. No respect for the man. I like it. Cool bottle rocket. We were, oh, done with dinner. It was such a fun date. We were all the dinner date, yeah. Someone I like. I mean, Elena does have a boyfriend, so. It wouldn't be out of the question for her to be on a date with somebody she likes. Quit messing around and get over it. Isn't Rift a part of uh, PS5 exclusive. Yes, it is. Hence why I have not been able to play it. <laughs> really bu busy with Aaliyah. <laughs> Follow Walter. Okay, fine. I'll stop reading chat. This here is Two Hat Jack. Hi, Two Hat Jack. Why are you called Two Hat Jack, Two Hat Jack? I only see one hat, Jack. Oh, no, no, two hat Jacks got two hats. Well, I guess I'm buying a weapon. I could get a dirty Harry and nothing else. I see what this tutorial's about. Thanks, two hat Jack. Okay, let's meet Floyd. Hi, Jojoke. I don't know. Is that how I say your name? Hey. This is Sunset Overdrive. Well, right. He has two hats. Intruders. The only weapon that has an actual punch to it. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Sunset Overdrive. Go on, kid. You know what you're doing. Who are these guys? Damn. Who are these guys? No good reason. Best way to deal with them, shoot first. Okay. Just get out there and make sure you grind up high and bounce around. If you stand still, they'll murder you. Oh, nice. Whoop. Ah! Wait, explosive barrel? That sounds like fun. Catch. Wow! That <laughs> I didn't even need to, like, give it a, a, give it a spark or anything. It's just on impact. Okay, yeah. The, the game really punishes you for not being on on top of something, doesn't it? 
He's just not very fast on his feet. Insomniac really saw the grind boots and Ratchet and Clank, and they were like, no, but for the whole game. Guy just really aggressively hitting a car for no reason in the background. <laughs> Didn't want to be part of the date, but I guess that's fine. Oh, I'm out of ammo, aren't I? No, I'm not. Now I'm out of ammo. We interrupt this apocalypse to give you some borderlands. All ca cars are bounce pads. I don't really need the the tips and advice. Uh, it's part of the fun to figure it out on my own. I'm gonna head out to the overpass. Put the kid to work. What do you mean you don't have okay. you don't want to have dinner date with all of us on Marco? I can't fucking read today. What do you mean you don't want to have dinner with us all on a date, Marco? Hey, got some money. I don't want you, Elena, in the date, but everyone else is fine. Seems legit. Go to the crash site near the Crown Blades factory. Okay, hold on. Gotta see Two Hat Jack about some ammo. Okay. Your street name isn't Heisenberg, is it? I can't read today. Continues to read stream. You'd be great at customer service. I've done customer service. I fucking abhorred it. You're not on a date with me. It's me who's on a date with you! Uh, it's been good. Songwriting partner have actually made progress. Yay! Progress! Next time for the day, Elena will eat in a corner. We can enjoy everything. Then I will finally be happy. Promise not to butcher it out of spite. Alright, Crown Blades Factory. Where's that? 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 I saw the, like, objective marker a second ago. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, because it was directly under me. Got it. Okay. Gross. You guys are gross. And I'm out of money. Uh, ammo. Same thing. Yeah, I remember the disc blade gun from Ratchet and Clank Tools of Discrepancy tools of destruction. It's not that I can't read, it's that I can't talk, I guess. Gotta get those that parts. Got, one. Got four. Spiteful hairdressing. Don't forget the parts. I just picked up four at once. What do you think I'm doing here? Oh, because the fifth one is already there and I just walked away from it. Cool. Yeah, okay. No, fair enough. I think I got them all. Next crash site. There's another truck further down the tracks. Jump on the train tracks and grind to the next stash. Oh, no. oh. Tap B while grinding to perform a melee attack. Or tap B anytime to do a melee attack. Why 
I'm gonna run out of bullets at this rate. I seem to have autocorrect in my ears because I thought you said Elena would an accordion. <laughs> Amazing. I don't think I'm an accordion, not yet at least. Should check and make sure though. Yeah. Good physical health starts with knowing whether or not you're an accordion. That's just common knowledge. Okay. Whoa. Too close for comfort. Where am I going? Why, why is it so obsessed with me? Okay, there. Happy? I did a melee attack while grinding. Oh, I see. It, it, it needed me to do that so it could launch the music cue. Okay, understood. Hey, you stop that. Oh god, I gotta be moving. I guess that's always true in this game, isn't it? Jeez. It's a good thing you guys are really slow and dumb. I am dying though, I am dying. Okay, let's let's do something other than hit the same button over and over. Huh. There we go. <laughs> Get him! Remind me not to stay up too late. Uh, I don't know what time zone you're in. Don't stay up too late. Your crowbar can handle anything, just like the main character in Half-Life. That's another game I haven't played yet, is Half-Life 2. Just burned about 300 euros late night shopping clothes. Oh boy. Did not eat an accordion tonight. Well, that's good. It's not very nutritious. Depending on what the accordion's made out of, of course. Wow, but did they just sort of launch themselves at each other? Uh, follow the tracks to the next crash site. I knew that. In Revenant, you are insane. That is a lot of money. But you gotta spend money to look good. Kind of. Not really. Sometimes. Popper! More likes! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pop! <laughs> the gore says pop, you guys. Hey, you stop that. Don't get near me. Don't come near me. Oh, they're so gross. Look how gross they are. Just juicy boys. If you eat a very long spiral noodle, does that make it an accordion noodle? Yeah, why not? Shit. Why call it accordion when you can have, wait, uh, fisharmonica? What? I don't get it. Ah, ah, no! I keep hitting B, wanting it to be the dodge button because Dark Souls. Bye. 
Bye. Area clear. I gotta find two more vet parts, though. There's one. Where's the last one? There we go. Okay, take a quick pause. Uh, April Fool's thing, let me explain. Yeah! I was like, they have some cool workout tights, and in my size, and there's only one left! How do you say no? How do you say no? The whole thing was an accident. The Fisco execs were so worried about competition, they rushed overcharge through government testing. They fucked up, and now they'll do whatever they can to protect their stock price. We're not getting out of this city alive, are we? It's a good point, Floyd. The awesome apocalypse. Okay. So Floyd's insane. Juicy boys is quite the thing to say. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. Bum ba dum bum bum. <laughs> I like Juicy Boys. In Italian, April Fools is P uh Pescade. I can't fucking read Italian. I'm sorry. I wish I could. Wait, that that looks so collectible, but it's not, is it? It's just floating there. Because it's both April Fools and April Fish. I do like that. In the same way, a harmonica would be orally operated organ, or oh, for short. Fizzy balloons. Let's go. Love me some fizzy balloons. Oh, oh. Fizzy balloons. Let's go. Yeah. Just, two more. Just two more! You got it, Floyd. You got it, Floyd. I, I, I don't see it, Floyd. Oh, it's the closest one to you, Floyd. I feel like you probably could have gotten this without my help, Floyd. Okie doke. Wait. Am I missing something? Oh, dude, just yeah, right there. Okay. Bump it on. Damage, dodge roll, and stun rounds. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to equip those M's. How? I mean, if this were a video game, I could just go to a menu or something. You would think. Uh, why am I hearing disembodied voices? Oh no. You need to learn some shit. There are different categories of ads. Select the hero hero ad to equip your new hero ad. Okay. Uh, dodge rolling into enemies knocks them down and deals damage. Sounds good. Select the weapon you want to amplify. Uh, yeah, this seems like a good one to do. Seems like the most versatile one so far. Choose a weapon amp to equip to the weapon. Chance of electrifying now, enemies. Cool. Don't oh, feel any different. Oh yes. Amps only activate when you fight with style. This is the style meter. Oh my gosh. Okay. I kind of like that actually. Going to leave soon. I have to go to a party. Nice. Secret garden themed. <laughs> Even the dialogue feels like Ratchet and Clank to a degree. Yeah, it's like Ratchet and Clank after uh, after hours. Weapon 
on level two weapon. Grind and bounce to gain style. Okie doke. Nice. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, fine. I love that. Stop shooting and do what it says on the screen! Okie doke. Oh yeah, it did say that earlier, but I forgot. Speed boost in while I grind. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm like a pinball wizard. Oh, gross, it's a popper. Ew, ew, what the fuck? Ew! So gross. Okay. This game is so much. <laughs> there is so much happening in this game. Yep, I got I got that. Okay. Okay. Combo counter. Makes sense to me. Okay, <laughs> let's catch up on chat. Interesting movie from the 90s? I think, isn't... Wasn't it a book before anything else? Might be wrong. Oh, it's also a book that I read the first 10 pages of. I don't want to learn some stuff and fluff. We interrupt this apocalypse to bring you some Devil May Cry style gauge. Oh, Devil May Cry style gauge, I mean. How else do we learn anything in video games if we're not being screamed at by an older person's voice who clearly hates us young kids? It's not red, squishy human blood, so it's fine. Does the name Kohei, Tana Tan blah, 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 blah. Kohei Tanaka ring a bell? No, it does not for me. Why? Honestly, I can't hear the characters well, but I like looking at the chaos. I can turn up the audio uh, if if it's if it's too quiet. Um, I I'm not totally sure what it sounds like for you guys. Is the game audio too low? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, is it Pacer? Is that how you say your name? I don't like failing the mission area, so I won't. Gotta go adult now. Thanks for hanging, everyone. Take care, Anthony. Have a good one.
I don't know if I've actually heard that name before, or if I'm just getting false memories. Okay. Time for tower defense. Well, that's good. Start cooking. Here we go. What? What is happening? That sure was a choice to just not render the things that they're coming out of it's just like yeah that's just a black wall they just come right through that no problem get out in front of them before they even get into the base sounds good to me hey man there's an outer barricade <laughs> there is the base we came out of oh, the base did i fuck up that bad yep Okay, Floyd. You're a little annoying, Floyd. Popper's moving in. No! Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. I did not realize how much of a punch that gun has. Oh my god, Floyd, please stop talking. This reminds me of how um, I haven't played the uh, the remake of Ratchet and Clank from 2016, but I remember one of the criticisms people had was that nobody ever fucking shuts up. Oh, oh. Oh. Jeez. I feel like doing this somewhere that's not your main base of operation <laughs> would be wise. <laughs> Floyd can't leave that shack. He's made that abundantly clear. Floyd can do it himself if he's that worried. He really can't. Do you remember that there was that balloon he needed that was directly next to him? And he's like, you're going to have to pick that up and give it to me. I am indeed low on ammo. Ooh, he's so big, he's got a health bar. Oh, jeez, th there's so many. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do. I th There's a lot happening, Floyd. Press A to jump on bounce. No, I know that. You died. Oh, no. I know. Jesus Christ, this is starting to annoy me. Oh. There is too much happening. Kohei Tanaka does the music for One Piece and Gravity Rush. Oh, I've heard good stuff about um, the soundtracks for both. Oh, I lost two overcharge.
You guys stop. Just get off. Stop it. I just got eight seconds left, so please just let me have this. Or don't. No, that's fine. Just, just, just kick me in the nads. It's all good. I suggest these tracks for listening pleasure. The world's number one Odin store, Old Town, Pleasure Town, and Downtown. It's a lot of towns. Random question, is there a video game character you just cannot stand or just gets on your nerves for some reason? Floyd's getting there. Um, I The first person that comes to mind is Fi from Skyward Sword, which is funny because I actually, I think her musical theming is gorgeous. But Fi pisses me off for the same reasons that Floyd pisses me off. They just don't shut up about obvious shit I already know. was helpful. Okay. Cool. Floyd, you, you keep this up, I am actually going to mute the game. This is driving me insane. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, the options are frozen. Hello? Game? Hey, game? Or we just, um... Oh, yep, it crashed. Get up on the Hydra's back! Um... Insert 13th Struggle song from Kingdom Hearts 2 here. I don't actively hate patches from Dark Souls and Elden Ring, but I try to kill them every time I see them. Yeah, oh, it crashed because you came back, Anthony. That's that's why, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. Um, this game is very good. It's also not my thing. It's just, it, it's too much. And I, I don't mean just Floyd, but Jesus Christ, Floyd. Who, how did this game get through testing without every single tester being like, you guys need to make him shut the fuck up. He talks way too much. I accept this. Continue the roulette. Uh, I will let um, the game fully crash. Okay. Let's bring back. Um, let, let's let's bring back our our wheel of fortune. I'm getting so many ads for Disney. I don't know why. Necroworm. Sounds pleasant. Let's see what Necroworm's about. Sunset Overdrive again. Ha! <laughs> no worm? Do you do you know this game? Because I do not. I haven't even heard the name. Ah, charming! Um. Wow, it just throws you in there, huh? Okay, so it's Snake. Got it. So just, just eat all the gore, huh? I can do that. Gravity Rush is overflowing with gorgeous over, uh, original soundtrack. Each song makes you feel like you're constantly up in the air. 
Um, that's very cool. Polar opposite of near and the suffering and sadness we all love. I need to listen to that soundtrack because I keep hearing wonderful things about it. I don't know anything about it either, but I'm terrified of anything worm related. Ooh, I want to look away. <laughs> It seems like it's just a. It, it reminds me of, um, like, flash puzzle games, but with a much better art style. And I lost. How many games can we cycle through in one stream? Place your bets. I mean, maximum's ten, because that's how many I downloaded. Oh shit! Went too far. Become the biggest worm in the dirt pile. It's a time game care? What? Back to adulting. Farewell for realties. Bye! What, what were you saying there, Marco? I didn't catch that. Oh, am I being timed? Oops. Yeah, I'm being timed. Okay. Oh, there is an undo. Or is that a retry? If I if I press A, does that just restart the whole thing? Or oh, hold up. The hint and reset buttons are reversed on my controller for some reason. Maybe this was supposed to be ported for Nintendo Switch, because that's what that button layout is. Oh. Love the sound effect for when you finish the level. Yeah. You know. you know. Oh, wait. But I didn't get all of them. Do you not have to get all of them? Maybe the chest is a bonus? Yeah, it must be a bonus because now it's not even there. Okay. Moving on. Oh. Knowing that it's timed, just, it, it's such a trap. Because it may, oh. Yeah, I already fucked up. It's such a trap because it makes me want to rush through, but then that's just how to make more mistakes. This game gives a lot of achievements. I've already gotten like four. It makes dopamine go burr. can't believe that I find this game cute. That, like, that doesn't seem like it should be the right word. But it's kind of cute. Ah, ah. Fail, make dopamine go. Oh. You are doing amazing, sweetheart, game devs after every single level or something. Let's see, how many, what, what achievements have I gotten so far? I've gotten five achievements. Um, eat 20 skulls, earn 10 points, complete any level in under five seconds, complete the first bonus level, and complete the first level. Very, very congratulatory. Oh. That was spooky. Oh wait, I made the same mistake as last time. Okay, 
I, I gotta start the other way then. So I guess that must be the last thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. So if that's the one that I end with, that means that I have to... Oh, I see. Okay. 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 We got this. We got this. Hey, not bad. It only took me 17 tries. Is this a joke? What's up with the spike pit? Oh, I have to hit the button. I like how there was a challenging one and then two in a row, just like, eh. Just guineas. No, this one's gonna be difficult, though. I wanna know, like, nothing about this game design is inherently disgusting, so I wonder what made them be like, let's make this game disgusting. Disgusting. Hey, I got another achievement. Uh oh. Pongo was getting restless in voice chat, giving you directions. <laughs> Just backseating without me being able to hear it. That's funny. This game is the love child between Oddworld and Snake. I definitely get the Snake vibes. I don't know what Oddworld is. I haven't heard of that one. I keep messing that up. There we go. There it is. There it is. This is gonna be tough. Two buttons and a key. This is gonna be tough. Um, nope, that was a trap. Okay. 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 And there is another achievement for eating a lot of eyes. You got over 8,000 subs, congrats, thank you. Yeah, 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 I actually, I, can you stop? I'm talking, very rude. Um, yeah, I, I actually got a screenshot of the moment I had exactly 8,000, so I was glad that I sniped that moment. Getting close to 10, you guys. I'm, I'm calling it this summer. We're gonna hit 10 this summer. This summer, in a world. Five digits when? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts bless us with more hearts for subs. Oh! Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, I think it's very funny that... Like, looking at all... Looking at the numbers, like, my near videos are much more likely to get me return viewers and Patreon subscribers, but then the Kingdom Hearts video was just, like, everybody showed up at my front door. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to hit retry. Apparently we're retrying. How do I not retry? There we go. How many? Wow, there's 120 levels. 
There's 120 levels. Let's redo the one where I didn't get three. Oddworld is a really old franchise that's oddly enough still going, yet never having made a triple A game. Huh. Could kind of fit into the literary sci-fi genre, though you wouldn't think of it visually. Interesting. Near fans know how to stick it out, I guess. Yeah, I I think Near Near definitely counts in my book as a cult classic. Like even though Automata made it a mainstream favorite. Um, it's, it still has nothing on Kingdom Hearts in terms of, like, universal mainstream appeal. Because Automata has suffering and philosophy, and Kingdom Hearts has marketable Disney. Nier is an endlessly superior story, but that does not always a game make. Gotta go and have dinner, see you soon. Take care, Marco, enjoy. There we go. That's the way. Have a nice dinner in the corner, Marco. game really is so friendly it's got this dark face but then it's like great hey not bad hey that's pretty good here here's 17 achievements the day king oh, kingdom hearts with all its convolutedness oh i messed up uh the day kingdom hearts plays weight of the world and weight of the world overture from final fantasy 14 back to back that'll be the day i break down I must admit, I've watched your 13th struggle bit at least close to a dozen times now? Whoa! I... That's like... That might be more than I've seen it. <laughs> Poorly! I... That's incredible, thank you. Yoko Shimomura is an absolute gem, and I'm excited to talk about more of her stuff. I get a lot of requests for Xenoblade, too, since she did the music for that as well. Your vids have a lot of rewatch value. I'm thrilled to hear that. I don't really watch my videos after I've uploaded them. Um... I'm kind of hoping that by just like pretending they don't exist for months or, or years after I've uploaded them, uh, at least for my myself, I'll be able to like, I, I don't know, almost, uh, obviously I can never watch them for the first time in the same way that you guys do, but I'm hoping that by just not touching it for a long time after putting it up, I'll get close. Because I, I, I want to know what my channel's like from a not-me perspective, and I'll never truly know. <laughs> Imagine Sora with 2B trying to convince Yorha machines have hearts. Oh my god. But I've learned... The heart never dies. Yes, I was going to binge some of your vids again soon. Aw. Why does he keep doing that? Just showing up and being all creepy. No one asked for that. I think this will work. Yeah, we're good. Whoop. That was just not putting the not using the joystick correctly. Ah, oh, shit. Bum, 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 bum. I messed up. Let's do this. 
I messed up. <laughs> uh, let's do this. I messed up. Why don't we try this? I messed up. What if we went with this? I messed up. I will preach as requested. The Church of Elena. Elena, you can be the first priest of the cult that we're all starting. Ah, I messed up. This one's hard. It is deceptively tricky. But I will triumph in the end. Should probably play Tlao soon. What is that? Don't tell me, don't tell me. The Legend of Urkel. The, um, you heard it, Jonathan confirmed we're a cult. <laughs> I'll take cult over cannibals. Yeah. Oh, The Last of Us. Yeah, I should also probably do that. My mom keeps telling me, she's like, you know, everybody's watching the show. You should, you should talk about The Last of Us soundtrack. I'm like, it's actually a good idea. I would have to watch and or play The Last of Us. But that's a good idea. Cannibal cultists? No! Not allowed. Not sanctioned by the cult of Jonathan. Ew, I, I, I hate implying that I'm like the central figure of a cult. It doesn't feel good. I've gotta... I've gotta find subtler ways to accept all, the, all of your tithes. So you haven't played Last of Us. I haven't... Somehow I've managed to avoid all spoilers for the series. That's wrong. So I, I must... I must start with this skull, right? Because otherwise there's no way to get the key before getting to the... Hmm. I think I just messed up. No, I didn't. Probably. I think this is good. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Uh, speaking of OST breakdowns, I feel like there's something out of great, uh, something about Great Shinobi Owl and Owl the Father OSTs from Sekiro to talk about as two related pieces. I'll check those out. I didn't get very far in Sekiro because it requires really good reaction time, and I just don't have that. Careless cultists of coalescing and creative cornerstone procrastinators. <laughs> Lots of low-key musical storytelling embedded there. Kind of like Ludwig Accursed and Holy Blade, but as two separate tracks. Nice. I didn't start the cannibal discussion. This time it was me. I brought it up all by myself. This is gonna be tricky. Already wrong. Uh, okay. This is definitely the first move, because that's the only way to get that pumpkin. Um, I think maybe if I split them up like this, and take this little roundabout. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That's not it. It's working. He's accepting the cannibal status. I'm not. I'm truly not. Step one, normalize it. You guys are awful. You guys are criminal. You know that? Yeah. After joking about it, it becomes post-ironic. <laughs> When I was a kid, I thought it was absolutely horrible that cannibalism was normal in nature. Is it? I guess it is in a lot of species, huh? Oh shit. Until one day, it will be part of normal conversation. No. No. Mouthfuls are my specialty. <laughs> 
I don't know what that means, but it could be gross. Bum, 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 bum. Shit. Shit. Okay. We got it. Yeah. Gross fits with the theme of today's games. Yeah, all three of them have been disgusting, haven't they? I hope that's just not what all of these games have in common. these puzzles remind me of a little bit is um, the tile puzzles in Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons. There were some dungeon puzzles like this where you had to like hit every tile in a room without retracing your steps at all. They were good puzzles. Did you buy these games blind, or was it just because of a sale? It was because of a sale. Uh, I, I got all of these as parts of a bundle with other games. Most of these are from this one, like, really massive bundle that I got in, I don't know, I think the beginning of last year. It, it was when the, the stuff with Ukraine first started. Uh, a lot of developers threw their games into a Ukraine bundle. That was only like $40 for a lot of games. And so most of this is from that bundle. Let's try this. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. This is gonna be hard. There's so many. Okay, well, that one in the on the left is gonna be the last one because there's no way to get out after going in there. So let's start. Oh nope, already messed up. This is gonna be tough. I have to get the blue key, then go all the way down there, and then come all the way back around. Let's see. that part, at least. Ooh. Yeah! Okay. That worked. I could also have said that mouthful is my middle name, but I wagered the reply I went with would make more of your audience smile. It was certainly... Uh... It was certainly something. Not not vaguely sexual. <laughs> okay. In rev your sus. <laughs> I messed up. Okay, I have to start this way. That's the only way. It's the only way. Now what? about this. I'm 
may have messed up already. No, that's it. Nice. I hear the kids say sus a lot. Those kiddos. This background song is digging a furrow in my brain. It is quite repetitive, but it does its job. I did smile though. Uh. Oh, already wrong. Actually, there's only one way into that space, isn't it? So that's that's the ending. Okay, knowing that. Let's do this. Are you kidding me? Ah! Nope, I messed up. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, that the worm's body can be over there, I guess. Why not? There it is. In high school, I sat by myself in a dark classroom working on my laptop while my phone played Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata aloud. A girl saw me through the door's window, came in, and... And she just said, wow, you're creepy and left. <laughs> That's really funny. Moonlight Sonata is a mood for Dark Corner. Moonlight Sonata is one of my favorite classical pieces. that that girl just came in specifically to neg you that's very funny yeah like I, I like the calm bits the best but a good arrangement of them is important it can be so good yeah I like the first movement most speaking of classical pieces would it be alright if I shared a few I know we're mostly a soundtrack crew of course you can if anything I consider soundtracks to be this era's classical music equivalent like i i know that there is neoclassical music but i i feel that that's got more of a a sort of modern art flair to it and just classical music as we think of it i think is closest to soundtracks in terms of stuff that's actually being published today originals that are being published today I mean, hell, one of the first things I put in the music discussion channel was a pop rock album. Not a pop rock album, but like a rock album. Pop music. If by using the definition of like anything that isn't classical music or from a musical or soundtrack is pop music. This one's really rough, you guys. This one's really rough. I 
think I've got it though. Yeah. Also, the piano guys have, have an amazing rendition of Moonlight Sonata. Ooh. Starts off like as usual, and you'll think like, ah, I've heard this before, until they hit a place in the song that's like, they did what with the chord? It's so simple, but it sounds so good! Classical is such a loose term, so there's a lot of variety. Well, yeah, because like there's classical in an academic sense, and then classical in a, like, there are at least three different things you could mean by classical music. It's a problem with terminology in music. I don't know if you guys know the channel 12 Tone, but he has a, a video about the phrase art music and how it's like pretentious elitist garbage. <laughs> but it... It was proposed as like a fix for the issue with like, wait, why do we call Mozart and Bach classical composers? They're not from the classical era, but they're considered classical music. What's going on here? We need a better term. I was like, yeah, we should have more consistent terminology, but you can't call it art music. That's so scummy. Classical in the broad term, classical as in musical era, like Mozart, yeah. Wait, was Mozart a classical composer? Am I being stupid? I thought it was romantic. Beethoven was classical, right? Vivaldi was romantic. Bach was Baroque. No, I can't remember my music history now. I should have legally changed my name to Baroque before starting this channel. That would have been the strategic move. Renaissance, Baroque, Classical, Romantic, 19th Century, Modernism, and all that came with it, 12-tone serialism, yeah. Yeah. Adionato Barocco. Yeah, I was confused by the channel 12 tone because I found uh, By Heart's channel first and she has this whole 30 minutes long rant essay musical where she comments historical bias, copyright, and pretentiousness inherent in basically all music. I need to check that out because I haven't heard of that channel actually. Uh, and I'm always looking for more criticism of music academia. Not because I think that it's like, ah, musical academia is the worst. Nothing like that. But I think that there are a lot of problems inherent in music academia. And um, I feel that like millennials and therefore YouTubers are the, the first generation to be okay really just being outspoken about like, yeah, so this is garbage and we should stop doing it. Which is just like a very millennial attitude in general. <laughs> so close, but no cigar. Mozart was classical. Damn it! I once built a master grade Cubilee model. How do you pronounce that? Quib ah! He keeps scaring me. Quibbly, quibbly, blah, 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 model kit on, on my internship at a histology lab with biopsy tissue soaking in formaldehyde using a 24 hour shift because I was bored as fuck. I am one part creepy, one part inappropriate, and three parts nerd. I love how specific that breakdown is. By Heart's video is called 12 Tones, got it. Bach is the definition of Baroque, Vivaldi Baroque. Vivaldi's Baroque? Why can I not remember anything? Probably because I haven't looked at this stuff since literally elementary school. That's literally the last time I looked at what composer belongs to which era. 
Beethoven was very classical, but in later was classical, but in later years was very transitional, in that he pushed the boundaries to romantic styles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you did what? Yeah, that is a lot of science words. That is a lot of science words. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is... Is this a reference to something? Oh, I accidentally hit the hint button, which just solves the entire level for you. I guess I'm going this way. Oh, I already forgot what it did. Well, that's good, probably. That's so weird that you can just, with one button, be like, okay, I solved it. That's the whole level, everybody. I did it. I'm smart. I'm done. Didn't, Assassin's Cre didn't an Assassin's Creed game OST get a mainstream music award recently? Like over five years after release? I haven't heard about that. That would be interesting. Shit. Ready, coming, hang on a second. Hello, Barry Adam, can you believe this is happening? I can't, I'll pick you up, looking sh What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, higher academia is pretentious. Anything I know, I will share and try to make accessible. And that's part of why I like your channel. Aw, sharing your musical brain to be nice. Literally my whole motivation is, I'm just like, this all started from the impulse of, hey, isn't this cool? I just think this is so cool. Do you think this is cool? Somebody please say it's cool. I've been really impressed with music theory YouTubers in general in that regard. I think everybody has a... Like, everybody seems to come from a place of inclusivity and accessibility. Like, I, I recognize that the algorithm gets a feel for what I want, and so it's not likely to show me, like, more pretentious, closed-minded um, channels, but um, still, I just, I, I like that it's, it's becoming more commonplace for people to say, hey, you know? European tonal music isn't the only kind of music. And that's okay. And we should accept and respect that. And maybe even discover that we like other music too. Wouldn't that be something? Oh no. It's all busted. Linked 12 tones for you in the Discord. Thank you. Sorry I went on for a bit. No, you're fine. I appreciate the love. I was having you read the whole B movie script without you noticing. <laughs> of Why? Where did that even come from? And why didn't I recognize it immediately? I fucked up. coming back around to green. No, I can't end by coming back to green. Because I have to end over there. Uh, 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 hey, I was told to preach earlier, and so I preached the B-movie script. That's true, I did. I did explicitly tell you. That's on me. But is B-movie a B-movie? At best. I need to watch B-Movie again. Do you, though? B-Movie is one of those things where it's like, I know that I've seen it. 
but I have no memories of it. It was just utterly forgettable. I don't, I, this one is tough. This one's got me stumped. I haven't seen Stardust. I watched the B-movie entirely via memes, B-movie butt videos, clips, never normally. In a similar vein, how people nowadays would point at a modern video game and imagine how people back then would gawk at how good we have it now. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the old music masters would think of video game music now. Yeah, I, I think that it would be a, a combination of awe and horror. I feel like Mozart in particular would be very down. Because he never really had any sort of interest in like tradition and propriety. He was just a goofy little kid. I'm sorry, Jonathan, but we have to leave. I have to show the B-movie to Elena. <laughs> The real one. I love both the book and movie. I haven't, I don't know Stardust. Fun fact, Mozart was a cat boy. What does that mean? Like he was a cat owner or he was an anime character? We will be gone for a couple of hours to do the whole movie review and in-depth lore deep dive later. Help me. <laughs> I don't know what I can do for you, friendo. I, I think you're in trouble, is what I think. And I've messed this up again. I'm really not sure how to do this. Okay, let's try going the other way. Let's try going this way first. Let's try it. Nope, it's wrong. Doesn't work. It's gotta be this way. Which means it's gotta be this way. don't know how to hit that green switch before I block myself off from this. Ah! Stop doing that, it's spooky. This is driving me nuts. Maybe that's enough enough of this game. I, it's it's fun. I, I like this a lot. It's it's definitely my kind of puzzle game. Um, I just am stuck now and want to see what else we've got. What else? What else? We will spin once more. Is randomly meowing not normal? 911 operator. What could go wrong? Me as a 911 operator? Perfect. Excellent. That'll be great. Look how great that's going to be. That's going to be so great. Spin the wheel, gambling, gambling.
He has an opera aria where it's... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's already in trouble. It's just meowing, for real. Also, he would get bored sometimes and get up on tables and meow, apparently. I think that was in Amadeus. Is randomly meowing not normal? I do say meow unprompted sometimes. Start tutorial. Um, for those starting their adventure, less incidents, weak criminals. Let's start with normal. Use headphones or speakers. Okay, I, I guess they just mean have the sound on. It's a weird way of wording that. This theme shall not leave all of our brains for the rest of the day. <laughs> Side note, seem to have written Elden Ring inspired lyrics to fleeting words. Whoa, what? It seems to come easy with the near OST, which is fun. That's awesome. <laughs> Game number four, let's go! Oh, and we'll also play Wordle before stream is over, because we gotta. How to talk with 911 operator? Try to remain calm. Describe the situation briefly. Facts only. Try to answer all the questions. Execute the commands of the 911 operator. Don't argue with the 911 operator. Don't disconnect too early. After the end of the conversation, don't use that phone to make another call. The operator might need to contact you again. Is this like actual advice for actual 911 calls? These are the common questions asked during an emergency call. Where are you? What happened? When did it happen? Is it still going on? Who? I can't tell how much of this is part of the game and how much of this is just un unwanted advice. Curiosity, what's the previous message you can see me having written? Um, I love both its book and its movie for slightly different reasons, but I'm realizing I never turned on live chat. I've been looking at top chat, uh, which usually I remember to do. Now the previous message of yours I see is, God damn it, I told the cops not to get you until the stream is done. <laughs> Good one. But I, I will say that sometimes I just don't see messages and I have not figured out why. It's very frustrating. What? Is the... This is actually just actual advice. I'm so confused. Why why is this in the game? Operator, it okay. seems like this is your first duty. Shall we begin the training? Sure. Your main objective is to manage the teams of police officers, blue, blue medics, white, white firefighters, red. red. Here you can modify your teams, assign new team members, buy new vehicles and equipment, and watch the report summary. This is also a place where your progress is automatically saved. Okie dokie. Just wanted to make you smile. <laughs> I keep forgetting to change my filter too. Yeah, I wish there was a way to change the default. Maybe there is, but I haven't found it. For now, go to deployment. Deployment! Now you can deploy the teams to different locations in the city. That makes sense Left that you can do that to from select deployment. A unit. Police then car. right click to send it to any place in the city the, lake. the units will find their way if possible you should remain aware of the hospitals police and fire stations as your units may need to drive back to base you can press space to show or hide the bases Boom. now disperse your units throughout the city you might want to use the plus or minus buttons or the mouse oh. wheel to change the zoom level and see the whole city when you are done Click Start Duty. Oh, 
What are these little dots? Hmm. Okay, I guess I get it. Now, for you. wait for incoming incidents. Here it is. Click New Incident you to can display see the, the details. Now. That's good. Now, select a police unit, blue, and dispatch it to the incident by clicking it with a right. Good. Now the unit will go to the designated incident and will do their job if possible. I think I get how to play this game. If it's blue, you do the blue. If it's red, you do the red. Easy game for babies. Uh, Ellen and I just had an additional snide comment from that John, but it wasn't the most important joke. Jonathan is doing 911 operator simulator. Yeah. When a unit arrives, the situation overview is available. Okay. You can find your team members on the left side and the incident elements on the right side of the window. Okay. Move the pointer over any element to see additional info. Okay. The team members will do their job automatically. You can also manually pick a team member and choose a task for him using the left mouse button. At least one unit should stay on site until all the elements of an incident will be resolved. Okay. Now you have an incoming call. Oh no! 911, what's your emergency? Good evening. I need help. Yeah, stupid thing. What's your name, sir? I'm Jacob Copus. Hi, Jacob. Click the dialogue option of your choice to progress through the conversation. Usually, you should ask for the detailed address first if it hasn't been determined. Until the conversation is finished, the time slows down. Wouldn't it be nice if that's how it worked in real life? Cool, next time I need help in an emergency, I can call you. Yeah, probably. I mean, I expect that by the end of this game, I'll basically have formal training. Marcus says farewell and good night to the... <laughs> to the chat, because he's very tired and we'll go to sleep now. Good night, Marco. I hope you're actually sleeping and this isn't just Elena trying to create cover for having killed you. We'll find out. Sleep tight. Okay, bye to Cannibal Marco. What is the Supreme Leader crap? Where are you? Where are you? From? Around. Why'd you call 911? My cat climbed up a tree and can't go down. You're kidding me. It's very dark. Can you send firefighters? Is it a tall tree? Have you tried climbing it and getting the cat down yourself? It's not really high, but it's dark. Tutorial voice actress has amazing voice control. I haven't honestly been paying close attention to it. Oh. Has anyone heard of the Can coconut song? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll send I'm... the fire department. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Now, decide who should be sent to the incident. You can also choose to ignore an incident if you decide that there is no need for an intervention. Click You're on right. the address to yeah. center the camera over the incident if you are not sure which one it is. Yeah, that's really good VO. Maintain the public order and save people from harm to earn a good reputation. Carry on until the end of your duty. The coconut song, as in like, oh, I've got a lovely bunch of... Or, or do you mean a different one? New incident, oh no! How do I? I'm, just, I'm, on my way. I'm just supposed to what click it, right? No, 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 that's not what I meant. But, no, no, no. You're... Reporting, heading over there. Okay. Do we? Do I need to set, send both or just one of the two? Oh no, they they do need both. Okay. Oops, not what I meant, not what I meant. Oh, new call. Okay. What's your emergency? Hello? I need help. It's burning. It's burning. Ma'am, where are you? Why does the end of your duty sound vaguely threatening? When you will be dispatched from your life. Save those lives, Jonathan. I'll try. What? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, you guys, you, you can't talk to me while I'm being a fire. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, anyway, new incident. Um, you should go there. You should go there. Uh, let's... Why don't you go back to the fire department? You can go to the hospital, you can go... I don't know. Wait, what, what's happening? What's happening? Okay. Uh, why does... Uh, no, I already read that. I don't know what's happening with the coconut song. You do know the Muffin Man? Well, that's good. Looks like everything is... accounted for at present. Probably should have had. Oh. New incident where? Where? Oh, drug overdose. Oh, that's bad. Okay. What's your emergency? Hello. I would like to order a steak pepperoni with extra cheese, please. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. I forgot that that's a. Oh, shit. I forgot that that's actually, like, a tactic to. Damn it. I messed up. I forgot that that's a tactic people can sometimes use to disguise a call from, like, an abusive partner. I messed up. There's, like, three sirens going on at any given time. It's, um... Wait, what just happened? Um, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, three sirens going at any given time. It's a lot for a game, but very few for a city, if you think about it. Jeez, what is this coconut song? What is happening? You're endangering people's lives, generally. No one is going to be able to sleep in this city, are they? No. Do you think the game devs included a swatting scenario? I have no idea. Reporting, heading over there. 911, what's your emergency? Help! I can't breathe. I'm trapped in the car. Well, what are you doing under a car? Sir, keep calm. Where are you? The coconut song is an old classic, Jonathan. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. I'll link it down. Do it! Okay. There we go. Let's send that. And just in case the fire truck too. I don't totally get everything that's happening, but I, I, I don't seem to be doing too terribly bad, maybe. Just a minute to go. The coconuts. No, I already read that. My short term memory is a mess. What are you, what, what's this back and forth dance you're doing? Oh, wait, you're not the one I sent. Medical heading to hospital. Oh, I can speed up time. Ah! 911, what's your emergency? Hello? Is anyone there?
What would pressing a digit do? If you do? can't talk, oh, please it. press any digit on your phone, okay? Hello, sir. We got a 911 call from your phone. Do you have an emergency? Coconut song is like Harry Belafonte's banana boat. Aww, from a Southeast Asian and happy. Sir, are you having an emergency? No, 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 I'm not. Please lock your phone and make sure you won't call 911 by accident again, okay? That way you won't take up an emergency line for more important calls. No, I'm not going to send that. What's going on? Where, why is nobody going here? I might want to send more calls. What was this? Why did I get a minus one for that? What was wrong? Uh, undercover pizza. Yeah. I messed that up. I messed that up real bad. Oh, I let the speeder get away. Well, did what I could. Too slow, I guess. Yeah. Seems like I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do with the speeding, cause like I could have sent more cars, but they all go the same speed. So I sent the closest one. I don't know what. It, was it just like bad luck? Like it spawned in a place I wasn't central to? I don't know. Um. Cool. You know, I, I haven't been streaming for long, but maybe it's just having played four games that I've never played before, but I'm freaking tired. Like, my brain's a little fried. I think I want to... 30% efficiency is better than 20%. Objectively true. Uh, I think I'm... I think we're gonna swap over to Wordle, and then... I was gonna say maybe end stream. What do you guys think? Should, should we end stream or should we just switch over to something that I'm more familiar with to give my brain a little rest? I guess there's like managing where each unit is idling so you can reach all parts of the city on demand. I think that must be it. That must be the strategy of it. Do whatever. Is that really what you want? You really want me to do whatever? Sounds good. Wordle then Monster Hunter World. I don't even have Monster Hunter World installed right now. Uh, okay, let's see. Turn that back on. Wordle. Uh, my typical starting word is stare. Well, okay, that's a good start. Hmm, rest the brain. Yes. Just, just something I know, just something that's familiar. Let, let's see, what do I have installed? Um, I've got, I remember how stressful it was for you. It wasn't necessarily stressful, I just didn't have a ton of fun with it. Let's see, I've got, um, honestly, like I, I could try Rain World again. Uh, a lot of people were interested in seeing me play more Rain World. Storm? Uh, uh, no, no R. Fancy Pants? I do remember that Flash game. Totally failed today's Wordle. Yeah, difficult to stream with. Um... Sting. Oh. Hmm. 
stump. None of these letters? Wow. Um... Stock. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do some rain world. It's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be really bad. Okay. All righty. Rain world it is. Crunker against all of us would be delirious. What do you mean? You mean slug cat? Yes. This slug cat. Oh, I forgot that I should typically um, should typically check the map before I try to move on. Oh, I'm going to need to eat some food. Oh, hi. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Ah, no, stop. Eh. Shit. Okay, there it is. Hi, Crow. Found you through your near analysis videos and you made me appreciate the incredible soundtrack even more. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you, welcome. Is it cat slug? I thought it was slug cat. I know I said it wrong at first. Um, okay. Where am I gonna... Where am I gonna find some food? I don't even remember what button brings up the map. Try to remember the controls. Gotta hold X to eat. I'm here from the 13th struggle video. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, hello. I will dislike just so I can like again. That's not how that works. Don't, d don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I was doing, for, for those of you who are just joining us, I was doing a, a Steam roulette where I just play random games in my library that I don't know anything about. Went through four of those, and then my brain felt fried. So we're going to Rain World, uh, which I have not played very much of, but I'm quite bad at it. I know that much for sure. But I'm not bad at it in a way that's mentally exhausting, just emotionally traumatizing and frustrating. And um, I don't know how I'm gonna get any of these bats because they're not coming far enough down to do anything. Uh, the first and third had a theme for some reason. Of, of Fancy Pants, you mean? Oh, oh no, the first and third games we played, yeah. The theme was disgusting. <laughs> 
The first three had a theme for some reason, yeah. First three games we played were real gross. And then the fourth one was 911 Operator, which was not gross. Yeah, bat. More like eat at at I, I don't know what I'm trying to say can you get down here please don't make me come up there because I can't oh boy it's a bit rough in it can't remember what what is the map button how do I map how do I map oh there we go this is the only room nearby with any food bat I eat you Is this a Metroidvania? No, um, it, it does look like one, but you you start the game with all the movement abilities you're gonna have, uh, and you there aren't really any attacks. It it's more of a what what would you call this game? It's it's like a survival platformer, I guess, is what I would call it. The, the basic cycle of the game is um, you eat food so that you can hibernate, so that you are able to access more places. There, the logic of the game is very strange. For some reason, having eaten a lot of food means you can open doors. Because game mechanic. Um... And that's about it. If you die, you lose food. And that happens a lot. And so far, that's all I know about the game. Really wish Ori in the Blind Forest was on PS5. Oh, is it not? I mean, that makes sense. The definitive edition came out, like, what, five years ago? More? Missed the cute animations in this game. Love is an open door? I mean, sure, yeah. Hello. I ate a lot of food, so this door opens now. It's magic. I like the art style of this game. Me too. And previously, we've had people in the chat say that the animation is actually done uh, largely through like AI and procedural generation. Ori and the Blind Forest isn't on PlayStation at all because it's studios directly connected with Microsoft. That does make sense. That does make sense. Ew, are these like leeches that are stuck on me? Gross. Get off. Get off. Can I eat them? Nah, it doesn't look like it.
I want to play Ori, but I am a PlayStation owner, so cannot. Do you not have a PC that can run it? That probably wouldn't be too long of a download if I wanted to switch over to Ori. I do love me some Ori. The soundtrack is so... What do we think? Do we do we want to stick with Rain World or do we want to start a new game in Ori? What do people want to see? Oh dear. What is this dork cloud? <laughs> I have not played Dark Cloud. I don't I don't think I know it. I'm disappointed Jonathan didn't recognize a frozen song. I do I recognize I, I've done a cover of that song <laughs> on this channel. I just don't know how it applies here. Oldie from 2003 once called the Zelda Killer. Well I uh I guess it didn't quite do that, did it? But I'm here for anything called the Zelda Killer, because I love Zelda. Man, come on. Get on the thing. Oh, Ori is on the Switch? That makes sense. trying to remember exactly I know I've I have been here before right yeah because otherwise that room up there wouldn't be lit up I can't remember why I ended up turning back did I get stuck or what I don't remember Same devs as Nino Kuni. Nice. Jonathan has several old videos where he does some singing and pose. You, you really don't have to do that. <laughs> I don't consider them to really be a part of the channel. I had fun doing them, though. Back in the day. Shit, I drowned. Oh, I know why I went back. It's because there's no fucking food here. There's like no food here. Also, this is the last place I actually successfully hibernated. I'm sorry guys, I know that a lot of people want to see me play more Rain World, but I don't like this game. <laughs> I really am trying to like it, because I know a lot of people do, but I don't like this game. I'm gonna download Ori. Uh, will you starve to death? Uh, I don't know. I've never gotten that far. <laughs> I don't think so. Found the game a bit, a bit heavy running on Switch. Oh, interesting. Even Hollow Knight felt sluggish? Gross. I feel it's a couch game. Yeah, Ori's just so good in general. You can do so much in that game. Dungeon crawl, drive robots, monster transformation, golf fishing, fish racing... Invention, photography, journalism, immigration, town building, and saving the world. Nice. Is food something enemies drop? You can't fight. So, nope. <laughs> uh, and is that... Um, is that... Uh, what, I already forgot the name. 
scrolling back up. Dark Cloud 2 that you're talking about? Dude, it's fine. Play what you want. <laughs> it's fair. Don't force yourself. I won't. Uh, it's best if you actually enjoy what you're playing. That does make sense. We'll have more fun looking at you if you're having fun. Alright, I'm downloading Ori. It's going to take a few minutes. I will keep throwing myself against a brick wall until that's, that is done. Old trailer on YouTube. I'm surprised. I, I thought I knew most of the games from the PlayStation era. I mean the like the, the like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. I thought I knew most of the beloved titles, even a lot of the not beloved titles. But I guess there is still much that I have to experience. Out of curiosity, what's your upload download speed? Um, uploads around eleven megabytes per second. No wait. I think that's what it is. Or is it megabits? Probably megabit. Can't remember. I'll just do the internet speed test again. <laughs> let's uh, let, let's pull that up. Peace of the world is easily my favorite track from Dark Cloud Two. Like rocking on a hammock by a lake with a summer breeze rolling by. Aw. Running this test is probably going to slow down my download, but so be it. I haven't played Nino Kuni either. I'm going to have to check both of these out. Downloads 55 megabits per second, which is lower than usual. Usually it's higher than that. I don't know what's going on. My upload's only seven right now. What the hell? Oh, I'm dying, huh? That's a problem. Well, good thing he's stupid. Favorite track from Breath of the Wild is the eerie silence you're forced to listen to because you're actually waiting for Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, you are streaming, yeah. That's true, it is probably not a super representative uh, speed test while I'm actively streaming and actively downloading a game. Joe Hisaishi makes great uh, makes a great OST for Nino Kuni. Also, eleven megabits per second is a dream for me. <laughs> All right, looks like the game's about ready. It's been a long time since I played this game. Long time. Uh, who here has not seen the intro sequence to Ori and the Blind Forest? Cause it's, it's a doozy. Why the fuck is it launching in my second monitor? Don't do that. How do I make you not do that? Hmm. Maybe I can 
change it in the in game. I don't know. Skill issues. Oh yeah, Pongo. I I have no illusions to the contrary. I am not good at Rain World. Fun fact: my Wi-Fi crashed the moment I asked about your upload and download speed. Get wrecked. Hold on. Let's figure what. Why is this launching in my second monitor? I don't want it there. I don't want it there. Uh, let's turn off full screen and then I can drag it to the other one and then put full screen back on. Yeah, that worked. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Oh, you meant about Elena's Wi-Fi crash. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true too. That's a sign, Elena, for what? I don't know. By the way, uh, Joe Hisa Hisaishi also did Ghibli film OST. Wow. Haven't played Ori, but I spoiled everything by watching a Let's Play because I didn't think I'd ever get to play it. Fair. Haven't seen it, only bits of gameplay here and there and heard that it's really good. I guess I'll turn to another tab for now because it's on my game backlog. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't mean to spoil anything for you. Sorry about that. How oh, is that a skill? How oh, is that an issue? Okay, here we go. Starting up. Oh. I didn't realize I've got... How is that possible that I have two 85% files here? And... I think one must be a copy of the other. Anyway, I'm gonna delete both. Um, one life? No thanks. Uh, I don't think I've tried hard before. Child of Light does have a great OST. How's the game volume? Is it, um, is it too quiet? I can turn it up. This, this soundtrack is really special to me. Hey Jeb, how you doing? Yeah, I just turned it on. Game volume isn't sad enough. I'll turn it up. This is the first one. Um, and I, I have played this one before. Turn the game up. Okay. Oh, why did it stop? How's this? Take care, Pongo. I can turn the volume up more if it's still so quiet. Yeah, I have played Ori before. We're not doing Steam Roulette anymore. I played four games. Four games is a lot, and so my, uh, much better. Okay, good. Uh, so my brain is fried, and I just need to go back to a comfort space. Might just play Bloodborne again so I can make a cosplay build of the MC from Child of Blair. I really want to do a video on the first five tracks of this OST. Whole game is hand painted and hand animated. much because I think so much of this just needs to be experienced. <laughs> First time I played this game, I was already crying by this point just because of how pure and emotional the soundtrack is. 
The music does tell such a story. I mean, Ori and Rivals of Ether, but I've never played the games, so this is a little bit of a for me. Oh, that's cool. As close to perfect as can be for a game. Yeah. Truly. I'm gonna turn the volume up even more. Sounds like Job of the Hut, it does. Shinji Kwan. 
of the biome. beginning of Ori and the Blind Forest. Jesus fucking Christ. Game now says go play. Oh my god, that beginning fucks me up every goddamn time. Watching Jonathan hold emotions back feels like a spoiler. No, not really. I just find that opening really emotional. John, don't kill Ori. Try it. Did I make him die twice? Already? It's worse than I thought. I think they added that for the definitive edition. I don't think that was in the original. Get wrecked. That's how you write stuff, goddammit. Right? Scrolling backwards, I know. It's breaking the formula.
Yeah, like I said, the the soundtrack of this game is really special to me. to check this out. I highly recommend it. When this game first came out, my friend and I had a joke, like, everything we played after that was like, yeah, I kind of liked it. There were some good parts in there, but overall, 0 out of 10, not Ori in the Blind Forest. Let's see, how should we start? Gareth Coker really wrote something beautiful. Agreed. Yeah. That sane impression. I don't remember the last time I played a game with such an such immersive audio. Yeah. I I don't know why, but the the sequel, Ori and the World, it, just, it doesn't hit as hard for me, and, and I. I don't know why, because it's like it's a music, and it's still a great soundtrack, but something about the first game is just entirely different. Oh shit, I thought that was the last of them. How much combat is involved in this game? I thought it was just a platformer. It's, it's combat E. Um, I, I would say, like, Standard Metroid games are combat games with some platforming. I would say the inverse of that. It's mostly a platformer. The more combat. The sequel's closer to 50 50. Now it's a bit too loud. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Good surname, because he really does choke me up. <laughs> Can't get up there yet. No, he's a sm he's small in a corner, and I broke my glasses yesterday. What? Oh, you can't read his lips. <laughs> you broke your glasses. I'm sorry to hear that. Even just listening, I can tell this game has pretty good sound design. Yeah! I, I would say that um, you're you're safe from any sort of like plot spoilers for for a while, Pazer. Um, but obviously there will still be level design and, and game mechanic spoilers. Up to you. Just thought I'd let you know. Good audio level, excellent. Excellent. Before the days of decay. I have one. Should probably actually get the experience points, huh? Hooray! Ow. I 
meant to do that. Can you imagine if I had played this on the one life difficulty? Considering I died to literally the first hazard in the game after that, like, 10 minute cutscene. Oh, hey. Shit. Damn it. Fuck. Mm. I don't think I've ever cursed as much as I have in this stream. Although when I was playing um, Post Void and Sunset Overdrive, it just felt appropriate. I don't think we're saints either. Yeah. Oh. I just feel weird about it because I I do what I can to keep the the videos PG or PG thirteen. Uh, but then my streams are not subject to the same restrictions. <laughs> And honestly, video essays don't need to be either because I mostly talk about Nier, at least so far, which is a decidedly M-rated game. Is that only my first one? Where did the other one go? Appreciate the lack of language? I will keep it up then whenever I can. I don't think I've ever cursed as much as I have this stream. I feel like you've started saying that more and more recently. I have said that before, it's true. I think it was also true at that point. <laughs> Shit. I mean, darn. Here, let's make a save point so I don't have to go through that again. Ah. Good thing I made a save point. What did you knock over at the end of the April Fool's video? My headset. Just the headphones. And no, that was not scripted. Because the, the reason the sound lasts so long is because I, I took the headphones off, put them on the desk, and stood up. And by standing up, I, like, bumped the cord and they fell to the ground. But yeah, not cursing as much makes you more accessible. Yeah, and it's it's easier for ads. I, I know that sometimes advertisers will be like, oh, they there's some weird new policy where it's like, if you say fuck within the first eight seconds of the video, then advertisers won't want to be part of it as much, but after eight seconds, it's a-okay? It doesn't make any sense. Building Gundam at the moment, that sounds awesome. I love kits like that. I always have. I don't really do anything with them these days though because I, I like building them, but I don't really care for owning the finished product and so it just feels like a waste of money. I don't know how I'm- it, I keep dying to that same one, too. Ah. Um, just don't curse too much since I'm used to censoring myself around- I just don't curse too much because I'm used to censoring myself for my students. That makes sense. Oh. Uh, also, speaking of sound design, I got a kick out of that detail in Bloodborne. Bloodborne has amazing sound. Shit, why do I? It's so hard for me to learn this lesson. They said a no, no word. When you have the metal cone helm on and slide down the ladder, they actually bothered to make the tip of the helm hit the ladder steps and clatter all the way down. That's amazing. 
I wish I could play Bloodborne if only they ported it to PC. I wish they would. I keep hearing rumors that they might. But I don't know if that's actually true. You're killing Ori! I'm not good. I'm not a good person. See? Yeah, the cursing rules on YouTube literally make no sense. They make no sense. Top five games of all time. Wow. Yeah, I also fuck. I also just love the aesthetic of Bloodborne. Maybe I shouldn't have done hard mode, you guys. See, the thing is, maybe I shouldn't have done hard mode. But I did hard mode, so we're gonna see it through. Watch that clip if you haven't, I will. I'm convinced the Bloodborne remaster is a myth. It might be. Look at that. Look at that. I learned. It only took me 17 tries. I'll just fire Bloodborne up right now. I mean, yeah, go for it. keep forgetting I don't have double jump yet, so I actually do have to hold the first jump out as long as I can. Ah! Yay, life! Can't remember how to break those. Skill diff. Gatekeeping Bloodborne. I didn't want to play <laughs> Gatekeeping how? You mean because of the... Yeah. The PlayStation exclusive thing. It's annoying. This is a good chat. So close. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to get the little orb magnet thingy. So that I can waste less time. Oh no, I forgot that. Oh, uh, it actually, it, it doesn't just set you back. It actually does reset your progress to where it was when you last saved, so I do now need to actually go back and get that light of cell again. Yeah. Uh, no, the B-flat. Oh, the Bloodborne, not the B-flat. <laughs> Um, probably comes somewhere between 2025, 20, 2727, 20, 27. and yes, I'm kidding. Speaking of FromSoft games, I really like to tarnish archaeology for Elden Ring War. Uh, treats the world like a dig site and makes an honest, uh, an honestly sensible timeline of events. I'll have to check that out, because I find the Elden Ring lore very cool, but also very arcane. I'm not good at figuring out the lore of from soft games, and I'm okay with that. Let's make a safe spot here. The fact that Bloodborne is stuck at 30 frames per second almost a decade later is crazy. <laughs> Surprised they haven't at least updated it for PS5. Yeah, and in general, Elden Ring just makes so many improvements on the FromSoft formula that like, even my friend who absolutely adores Bloodborne is like, yeah, it's kind of hard to go back. It just doesn't control as well. 
Oh, look, a rock! I love his voice. Breath of the Wild stuck at 33. 30 frames per second and below is my pet peeve. The Nintendo Switch is not the most technically impressive item on the market. It is true. But yeah, it, it is goofy that for like flagship titles, they can't even figure it out. Destiny awaits. Hi, Cowcraft. Just finished playing some Ori myself, joined this random stream that YouTube recommended to me, and boom, more Ori. Um, yeah, I originally, the way this stream start, started was I was playing a bunch of random games that are in my library that I hadn't touched before. Ori is not one of them. I love Ori very dearly. I just got, like, a little burnt out playing. <laughs> uh tons of new games and I just wanted something tried and true. Nintendo really should release a console with good hardware. They really should. It would be fun just for a change of pace. Reminds me of all the old days as a teenager playing Minecraft on 12 frames per second. I feel you, Ori is a great comfort game. Yeah! Switch isn't the most perfect Formantly impressive, sure, but don't forget it's running on a graphics chip designed for mobile units and first launched about 2014. So it actually is technically impressive. Yeah, that's a fair point. And I I will never argue that the de design isn't innovative. Like, there's a reason it's the most successful console, I think, ever. in Elden Ring lore, like the two fingers and three fingers feud is based on the Russian schism of making the sign of the cross with the orthodox three fingers versus the heretical three. Well, one of those was supposed to be a two, but that's very cool. I didn't know that. The mobile chip was launched around 2014 in several units. I know the Switch itself launched in 2017, just for clarification. Yeah. Uh, people don't buy the Switch for graphical power, they buy for Nintendo games plus portability and modularity. Yes, absolutely true. And I do. And I love the games that I have on Switch. Sorry, what did I just unlock? Wall jump? Okay, cool. <laughs> shit. Shit. I didn't see that. And neither did you. You didn't see it happen just now, because it didn't. But um, heretical too. Got it. See, I, I'm so poorly versed in Elden Ring lore that I didn't even know there was a three fingers. I thought there was only the two. I gotta say, Ori Will of the Wisps looks gorgeous on the Switch OLED screen. Oh, interesting. I have played Will of the Wisps, but I, I don't like it as much. There's just something so... Oh my god. There's something so clean and elegant about the first game, and the, the second game definitely has more going on, which most of the time I would call a good thing, but there's... There's just some a simple purity to the first Ori that I don't think can ever be repeated.
It took so long to get to the three fingers. It's a secret you have to find in the worst area of the game. <laughs> Interesting. happened to me again. But nay! I can't reuse them already? I thought you just naturally could. Also didn't know there was a cooldown timer. Haven't played this in a long time. The rest required two. Okay, might as well. How am I gonna get up there? Running jump? Nope, that's not it. Oh, do I have to push that all the way over? Damn, that's gonna be tough. I don't know why I'm surprised by this. I mean, I do, because I haven't played this game in like five years. Uh, I can understand to an extent, but personally, I'll always prefer the sequel. Oh, nice. But yeah, I can relate to the first one being more cozy feeling. The this, Like I said, the second definitely has more going on, and I do like all of the customizable aspects of it. it. It has more of a, like, build your own hero kind of feel to it, which is very cool. Um, ah! Ah! I think part of it might just be the originality of the first game for me like I I can never play an Ori game for the first time again you know and so this is just very special to me because it was my first Ori experience but I do think that Will of the Wisps is overall a more put together like full product I also like the story of the first game better like a lot better. I feel that the story and the sequel, I mean, they're both very simple stories, but the story in the sequel, I, I felt it, it was less consistent, I think, in the lore. It, it definitely started to do that thing where I was like, I don't actually know what matters because it feels like we can just use magic to fix everything just a matter of how difficult it is to get the mystical thing that does the thing. Ori has, uh, the first Ori has some of that too, but not as much, in my opinion. Also, since we see people buried in the roots in those dungeons, people are also apparently born from the herb tree in a literal way. Gross! Ah, yes, the magic MacGuffin. Everybody's favorite. Map fragment. Heck yeah. Yeah, you, you're not so hot now, huh? Frog. Got him. Magic muffin instead? Oh, I'm hungry. Okie doke. Up and left. I'm sorry, but I'm really, really tired and I need to catch up on some sleep. Do that thing. Thank you for the stream, Jonathan. Have fun playing Ori and have fun, everybody. Enjoy your time here. Good night. Good night, Elena. Thanks for joining. See you later. Magic Muffin McGuffin. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
Please sponsor me. That would be weird if McDonald's did sponsorships, actually. Godwin and Mikella are probably the most interesting characters in Elden Ring for me, so I'm really hyped for the DLC. Yeah, I, I don't know very much about the, the lore at all. I tried to. Not very hard, but I tried to. And I should have saved before opening that energy crystal, but I didn't, so moving on. I can't believe I wasn't hit by that. I love the little helicopter twirl. I forgot I can wall jump. <laughs> I don't remember how you open these. Oh, I see. able to do that for a long time, clearly. Before I start this essay about the philosophical reasonings behind the ha story of Half-Life, let me tell y'all about this bossin' new Big Mac. <laughs> oh my god. That would be funny. I don't know if I could take a video essay seriously if it was sponsored by McDonald's. Really? McDonald's? Like the icon of... I, I, I don't know, like, corporate culture with, with no substance behind it. Tarnished Archaeology has you covered. Might be long, but I suggest starting from his first video. Okay. It's like a university semester with the entertainment factor of a classic Discovery Channel docu. That's very cool. I... Man... YouTube is such a godsend. I love how many people are so passionate about, like, their hobbies and interests as to do things like this. Like, make a docu-series about lore in a video game. That's incredible. Oh no, I haven't saved in a while. I keep forgetting that that's an important thing to do. There aren't checkpoints at normal intervals like in a traditional platformer. Ah. Wish I could figure out how to get that energy cell, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. One of the things I like about this game is that um, everything you find ends up on the map. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Um, but like, for example, the part that I haven't figured out, it, can I show my cursor? Yeah. Like this part is still gray, so I'll know later on that I haven't actually been there yet. Um, and you can also unlock stuff that shows you where all of the hidden stuff is. Um, and I like that, because if you're more interested in completionism than, than like, dis the sense of discovery, then you can get that. And if you would rather find it all organically and miss what you miss, you can do that too. Just don't unlock the thing. I personally have a hard time getting into really deep lore in games or movies or whatever, but it's crazy impressive how much people know about this stuff. Yeah, I agree. Um, I... I love me some complex lore. With the... Oh, there's one I'm missing. I love complex lore, but... Uh, 
I have a conditional with that, which is that I don't want to have to do a bunch of work to figure it out. Like, I... I prefer games with complex lore where just by following the main story you can piece together the logic of the world. But with, with stuff like FromSoft games, I'm like, just somebody else tell me. I don't have the time to look through all these item descriptions. <laughs> An example, if you want to see how passion for something spreads on YouTube, look up Winter Gatan's video Marble Machine. I love that video. I watch that like every year. And also the reaction video of the creator honoring all the fans. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I think I'm the same way now that you mentioned it. About the presentation. Yeah. Complex lore, you say. Xenoblade series? I was not a fan of Xenoblade Chronicles. I found the plot overly tropey and not good tropes. Uh, but I know that a lot of people don't agree with that take. Um, and I, I don't know anything about the sequels. But for me, Xenoblade Chronicles was just... The world was very cool. The, the Bionis and Mechonis, that's very cool. Uh, but there was just so much anime bullshit. Like, really? The entire main cast survived, like, a... I, I want to say, like, a two-kilometer fall. With no plot explanation whatsoever. They're just... They just fell. Several times the amount necessary to kill a person. And they're just okay. I have no patience for that. Uh, FromSoft just has this magic when it comes to lore that always invests me. Yeah, Elden does a better job of actually showing a story. Yeah, it does, but it can still be pretty vague sometimes. Yeah, I definitely understand Elden Ring's lore more than like Dark Souls, for example, but um, not by much. <laughs> it's just, it, it's very complex and very uh, difficult to understand, and that's, uh, that's a pretty impenetrable combination for me. TA's videos are, like, 45% Elden Ring, 40% cool history lessons, and 15% botany lessons. Wow. Currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn, letting them slowly spoon-feed me the story, which I don't mind. Yeah, I, I like the way that storytelling is handled in Horizon Zero Dawn. Guys, ready to meet the villain? Ooh, boo, hiss. Owl from Winnie the Pooh has had enough. the original Xenoblade story, but the second one was really good, as long as you know the romance parts. The third was a lot more anime crap. <laughs> I've been thinking about trying the second one. Don't y'all spoil nothing about Horizon now, I'm not finished playing through. I'm not either, so you're not gonna know. You're probably further than me. Loved Horizon Zero Dawn. Jonathan, did you ever finish that on your own? I probably will, though. Xeno Gears on Steam. I don't know. If I have one criticism about Ori and the Blind Forest, it is so full of comma splices. The Jinso Tree has the most amazing soundtrack moments. 
It's so good. So full of what? I... Oh, oh, um, comma splices. Uh, grammar errors where, like, a comma is used in a, in a sentence inappropriately. Um, I'll, I'll point one out next time we see it. I was getting Jinso tree mixed up with spirit tree. Yeah, two trees! The second one didn't address sexual content and lewdness very well, so many Xenoblade 2 female characters are underdressed, and it gets mentioned several times in the plot. That is unfortunate. That, that kind of stuff is, is weird for me, because, like, from a social responsibility and storytelling standpoint, I think it's a problem and uh, weakens the story and just breaks immersion and is just dumb in general. But at the same time, I, I'm a simple man. I like looking at it. So, pros and cons, right? More cons, but still pros. I think they just went for an archaic language structure. It feels very Norwegian and German-like to me. Oh, interesting. That could be. They had to nerf the outfits for Smash. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Uh, stop that. Thank you. How am I gonna... I don't think I'm able to keep going this direction for now. Ah! Wish you wouldn't do that. Fan service problematic, but like Jonathan says, people like to look because we're simple creatures. It works when it works. love to do something about that. Oh wait, can can I get you? Can I trick you into breaking it? I can't remember how this works. Yeah! Dumbass. Sorry, that was rude. But, but like I said, as, as far as fan service goes, I do think that more than anything, the biggest effect that it has is that it weakens whatever story it's part of. At least sexual fan service does. As long as it isn't overly forced and is actually a detriment to the plot, I don't mind it. Yeah. I definitely prefer um, when it, like, doesn't feel as sexist. Like, there are some games... I, I actually, I think the, the first Xenoblade does a good job of, like, sexualizing the male and female characters equally. Uh, and I, I, have, I have less of a problem with it when when that's what's going on, because then I feel like less of a creep for playing it. But when it's, like, very clearly made for the benefit of, like, horny straight men, that's when it starts to feel a bit uncomfortable. Come on, people, let boys be hot, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying... 
I'm really feeling it, Ryan. Shit, shit, no! Mm. Fan service for everyone, he says. Yeah, make everybody naked. Everybody naked 2023. You heard it here first. Like Fire Force, the anime has a character that is constantly used for fan service and it just gets annoying. And then there's Kill a Kill, which is just fan service for over 20 episodes. I say that, but like I actually consider Kill a Kill one of my all time favorite anime. Because it. In that show, like, the. The sexuality is kind of the point to a degree, and it is actually a part of the plot rather than contrary to it or in addition to it. And the few male characters there are in that show, one of them literally has glowing nipples. Like, everything in that show is sex. Son, why are all those characters naked in your video game? It's for the greater good, Mom! Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was Mom. I should have given a different name. Oh, different voice. Kill a Kill is so weird, but, like, it works somehow. I was just listening to uh, <coughs> Satsuki Kiryuin's theme the other day when I was driving, and, oh, my God. That is such a good character theme. I, mm, I need to add that to my, to my wish list for, uh, for future videos. I would love a video on Satsuki Kiryuin. Kiryu mm -hmm. Have you heard of Legend of Black Heaven? No, I've not. Satsuki does have a great theme. It's so good. I like to um, imagine what it must have been like to be the, the creator of the series and have like the, the composer be like, okay, I've brought in a draft for Satsuki, what do you think? And to hear that written for a character that you created. Holy crap, what an experience. Formal metal band lead guitarist turned office worker gets his old band together when he is recruited to wield his mad music skills as a weapon against an alien invasion with sights set on Earth. You should write blurbs for Netflix. That is an amazing synopsis. Where am I going? Find the Jinzo tree. This far! Well, clearly I'm gonna have to go up there, but I can't do that yet. Or maybe I can now that I have the boom. No? Thinking back? Still can't do it. Even with the boom. Let's keep going this direction, see if there's anything I can... No? Still can't reach up there. Like an orchestral dubstep sort of thing. Uh, for... Oh. For, uh, boss from Skylanders. Hmm. If you uh, remember which one, feel free to say so, and I'll check it out after stream. I love me a good character theme. Oh, can we talk about how in Xenoblade Chronicles, the one, the, the Homs that live close, like on the Bionis leg, have Australian accents, and the ones that live up near the head have British ones. That's funny. That's just good localization. Ah yes, the boss is called Drill X from Skylanders Giants specifically. Send a link if you'd like. Yeah, why not? I'm not gonna listen to it on stream, but I'll check it out after. Come on, that's great humor. It's great humor! There we go. 
Like how Pulse, Final Fantasy XIII, they're Australian too. Spoilers! But yes. Is it a spoiler? It's a massive spoiler. <laughs> Is that- I- I don't remember if you've played the game, do you- is that just something you picked up from, like, I don't know, Reddit or something? So not that way. I didn't play it, I didn't have a PS3 and all my friends online talked about it. Got it. Final Fantasy 13 is, oh God, once I say this, it's out there. My favorite Final Fantasy. It has a lot of haters and for very good reasons. It is a deeply problematic game. And not in terms of like social justice, it's just like, it is not a well-told story. And the that that's another case of like very complex lore not being uh, delivered to the player well. Uh, like in in FromSoft titles, the point is to be obscure and difficult to figure out. That's part of the intrigue. In Final Fantasy 13, they literally just give you a bunch of things to read just like encyclopedia articles about the world basically and the plot does a little bit to explain how the world works but it's just it's it's messy but i love the characters and i love the themes at first i feel that the themes end up contradicting themselves by the end of the game but i love how the story starts and it's been deeply influential on me as somebody who writes and consumes stories and um, no other Final Fantasy have, has just impacted me to that degree yet. That's a hot take, but my favorite is 15 and we all know how that turned out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was not a fan of 15. Great story told poorly. I had to read the dossier entries to understand what was happening and it totally dampened my impression and enjoy from that point on. Yeah, exactly. Like, there shouldn't be homework involved in a story-driven story. I mean, in a, in a story-driven game's story. And, and I'll say again, like, I, I think that the ending is kind of hot garbage. I, I think, like, I, almost the second half of the story in Final Fantasy XIII just totally misses the mark, completely forgets what made it special to begin with. But that first half, oh my god, you could make a mini-series of that, like a TV mini-series. It's so beautiful. I know that a lot of people dislike some or all of the characters in Final Fantasy XIII, and that genuinely confuses me. Like, the, the criticism of the storytelling, I get totally valid. The criticism of the plot, I get totally valid. But I think that the lore, music, and characters are impeccable. And I just... 
I'm, I'm genuinely curious to hear somebody talk about why they hate any of those things. Because I can't see anything bad about them. Another hot take, I liked the Leona Lewis songs they used for the ending. I mean, it's a good song. I thought it was inappropriate, but it's good. I've been playing through Final Fantasy XII recently, and I'm enjoying it. I don't hear much about Final Fantasy XII, but I've been meaning to play it. It looks fun. I only experienced 15 with Royal Edition after all the updates, but I know it was pretty messy at launch. I don't know if I played that edition or not. Um, but for me, I, I don't think it was, like, bugs and quality of life issues that were keeping me from enjoying Final Fantasy XV. I, I just, I don't think I liked the game they were trying to make. You know, just, like, at a personal preference level. Ah! No! Okay. Let's, um, let's save. No, not what I meant to do. There we go, that's what I meant to do. Ah, sentient spike thing. No thanks. Please go away. I only hated snow from what scenes I saw. I mean, don't get me wrong, the characters are deeply flawed. Snow's actually stupid, but he's also really well written. 13's execution did not help with their characters, made me feel bored with them at a point. That's fair. I watched the intro cinematic to uh, 12 and then I shut it down and uninstalled it from my Switch. Oh no! I've never heard that strong a reaction about 12. Um, oh, yeah, maybe use the platform that I got. That makes sense. Ah! Leave me alone. 15 was Nomura's baby back when it used to be versus 13. I was so psyched for versus 13. That's part of why I was disappointed by 15, was 15 didn't end up being what I thought versus 13 was going to be. So I felt like I had waited a very long time for something that never came. I know I'm not alone in that. Really, I quite enjoyed 12. I'll admit it is very Star Wars in terms of story and character types. I really like the main party in 15 because they have a really good chemistry and I like where they were going with Arden, but could have been done better. I don't think we got that far. RIP versus 13, can't bring myself to play 15 because of that. Also love 12, need to replay it, only played the vanilla in 06. Uh, what, what's the not vanilla? Is the version on Steam vanilla or something else? Special edition abandoned the it Italis or the whatever that is. Alliance. Is that good or bad? Oh, Square Enix. Got it. Not special edition. figured it out slightly before that showed up in chat, so I feel smart. Zodiac Age is the remastered version. Okay. It might be true, but Final Fantasy XII's intro cinematic and starting level failed to give me a single reason to care about the world or what is happening in it. Harsh. But also, 
a position I respect. There is so much goddamn content in this world. If you have a gut reaction that you're not gonna like something, and you don't have any friends that are begging you to, like, consume it, there's just other stuff. <laughs> so I get that. I really do. That's like whenever people are shocked that I haven't played something or haven't watched something. I'm like, you, you know that I'm not just like constantly replaying and rewatching stuff, right? You know that I'm not just sitting at home thinking, hmm, I could be experiencing something new, but I'm going to consciously choose against it. Like, I'm just making different de decisions with my media than you are, because there's a lot of media. Starting level is pretty good in my opinion, but the first time I played 12, I played for 10 minutes and then dropped it for a few months. <laughs> I've had games like that too. I might just be averse to politics. I don't engage in politics usually. I do vote though, because it's all meaningless popularity contests that usually has nothing to do with the legislations. I find political dramas interesting uh, depending on what the issues being discussed are. I'm trying to think of a, a good example. Um, I can't think of a good example right now, <laughs> but I can enjoy a good political drama. Final Fantasy Tactics or Vagrant Story, same universe, better paced, contained stories. Is Tactics the same universe as 12? I th tactics came first, right? I haven't even heard of Vagrant Story. Oh, I'm gonna need that, that, that other ability that I don't have. Oh! Yeah, I've been going for a while. I've been going almost four hours. I think, I, I, I think it's, I think it's time to stop for, for this stream. Um, but I've really enjoyed talking with you. I enjoyed meeting the new faces. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, although I'm enjoying it a lot now. I really like the politics in Fallout. Yeah, Fallout has some good politics. Good, good stuff. Um, all right, I'm gonna head out. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, good English localization, cool. So I've I've got some listen some music to listen to and some some games to check out. Um, no promises I'm gonna play all of them, or any of them, but I will check them out. Uh, go eat and stuff. That's my plan. I'm pretty hungry. No muffins though. I don't have any muffins. Um, yeah, everybody eat and hydrate and enjoy life and I'll be actually, I, oh, no stream next week. I'm going to be out of town, so it, it'll be a while, but I will stream again on Sunday the, I think, 16th. Yeah, the 16th. So I'll see you then. Uh, take care.